But good morning. Planet Brad is back. <laughs> yes, I am back. And uh, I got to say, Amanda, that was great that you shared that exercise where people write down the things about you. Uh, we did. I've done that so many times. It's probably why this is easy to share today, because we would tape that piece of paper on our backs and everybody would go around the room and you would write what you thought of that person on their back. So people would just literally be these chains lined up through the room and they're writing on everybody's back and writing what just a word about them and what they liked. And I've been through that so many times. I'm like, wow, really? Oh my gosh. I never thought about that or that, you know, it just helps you realize that you are making an impression on, on people. So I think that's kind of what makes it easy for me to share today. And I would say, you know, the best part about being me is I live on Planet Brad. <laughs> so Planet Brad, when you come visit us on Planet Brad, there's a filter that you accept when you walk in and everything, it's the fun filter and the love filter. And you're just going to have fun and love everyone while you're there. Um, and, you know, a lot of that, I just look back on two major things. Like if I were to help anyone you know, to make an impression on someone who might be going through something where maybe they don't think this is the best part of them. Uh, I mean, the first one is going through divorce, uh, th you know, six years, first marriage, three children. And it does take both people to keep that marriage alive. And unfortunately, if you're on the other side of that, you're not the one that wants to keep it alive. It's, it's just a reality. But the real reality is, is that, you know, being a part of my kids' lives is one thing I love about me, Lee was talking about kids are important, but being in their lives. And, you know, it took me a year to find Sonia to feel like I wasn't a total loser for being divorced like everybody else in my family. And I just had made a commitment that was not going to happen to me. Uh, we were going to stop that stupid thing right there. And, and I don't, I can't control that. But, you know, we were friends forever for the kids. We had three children together. And then Sonia and I had another child together and those blended families. I mean, we did holiday every holiday. We'd go over to my ex-wife's house or they would come over to our house. We'd sit together at church uh, with my, with Sonia and, and Eva was my first wife. We'd sit together at church. My daughter goes and spends the night at her house. Her daughter would come spend the night at our house. And it was all about the kids, right? So I love that part. Um, and then when I lost Sonia after 20 years in 2015 and met Lynette, just watching the kids naturally uh, blend together. And we have blended a family of seven kids now. Uh, well, and really eight because Abigail from my, my first wife's child with her husband is really still part of our family. Her and I just crack each other up and, and we just have a total blast. So um, I do love that that is what was inside of me to not be something different or the stereotypical, you know, divorced couple. Hell, our, our attorney, you would, if you were getting divorced and you used my attorney, you would get the corn family speech and he would talk to you about what divorce could really look like. So that was kind of cool. My other one is just experiencing success. Um, I mean, being able to have the success that I have, not only like where I've been the last week was Lynette's middle son got married in Arkansas. Well, having success in business and actually being blessed enough to be in a flexible business like real estate, I say it's flexible. That's after time. You can also drive you too. It can also run your life. But in a flexible business that is successful, we were able to do two weeks or two days before the wedding at Lake of the Ozarks. And then we were able to do two more days at the end of the wedding on our way home at Big Cedar in Missouri, which is probably, I mean, I call it God's country. It, it is unbelievable. Probably one of the best kept secrets in Missouri, but being able to do that on front end and back end and still sell houses while I was gone. I sell real estate. If you haven't heard me talk before, but it's the bigger part of, of what I love about being me is this success, I feel like it came pretty easy, but that's 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 a, a loaded, easy word, right? There's a lot of work behind it, and it is about working smart, and it is about following others and surrounding yourself with the right people, and that is another thing I love. I have met some of the most famous people in life just because I, I just call for it, and when it shows up, I jump on it. 
But being able to get there and being able to share the easy side of that or the simple side that everybody can have this success, it really is not that hard to get, but we all make everything harder than it needs to be. So being able to share that with thousands of uh, thousands of other people and then coaching, I just absolutely love coaching high-end conversations, helping people realize that there's just one little word that's blocking them from moving forward or one little action they could take that just gives them a step forward and being able to watch that happen. So I'll leave you with this. You know, I, I don't try to be something for some everybody else. I just am me and you either like me or you don't like me. Um, and then like Jen was saying earlier, okay, I, I can say you, I do not get called Pollyanna sunshine that, that I have not been called that before. However, I, I do get accused of looking at everything as if the glass is half full. And, um, you know, again, I just, I love to, when people are struggling, I love to just get a chuckle out of them or you know, I hate to see people suffering. So I just do whatever I can to get a little smile or a smirk. And, and I'm talking in, in worse situations, like really bad situations, loss of a parent or a spouse or whatever. And I just try to find something different than keeping them there. I want to see everybody happy. So that's that's uh, the message from Planet Brad today. I appreciate you guys uh, you know, starting this conversation and getting people to talk about themselves and things that they're working with. It's awesome, awesome conversation. Awesome, Brad. Now, listen, just turn around for a second. I got to write something on your back. <laughs> and uh, sunshine. Oh, I knew you were going to do that. I knew it. <laughs> oh, gosh, I love that's one of the things I love about these so many of these clubhouse communities is the 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 humor that we um, can share with each other as we get to know each other. That was just wonderful. I'm passing right on. Look at Jen's got, got a gift or a gift going. I'm passing.